Father, quickly! This way! I've been thinking about my brother's claim that he's the Nerevarian since we last spoke. No matter how I try, the word tastes false on my tongue. And now I fear he's about to convince the wise woman that his quest for power will benefit the tribes. My brother is respected and revered. He has allies in all of the tribes, not to mention his personal red exiles. We have to proceed with caution. Respect the Ashlander customs and traditions. Anything else will lead to violence and bloodshed. We talked to my brother. Tried to convince him this isn't the way. Barring that, we make sure the wise woman doesn't get drawn into his madness. Whatever Chodala says or does, don't attack him. We don't need a war between the houses and the Ashlanders. The wise woman. I was hoping she'd be here. You're too late, dear sister. Despite your protestations, the wise woman has gone to the cave of the Incarnate to confirm my claim. Brother, do you really want to pursue this dangerous course? There was a time when you gave me your unconditional support, Saren. I miss those days. <sighs> my brother Chodala is about to do something foolish and dangerous. But by dusk and dawn, Azura put you and I on the same path for a purpose. I just hope we have enough time. He's about to claim the title of the Nerevarian and try to unite the Ashlander tribes gathered here. He already convinced the Red Exiles to support him. He's using them to intimidate the other tribes. If he persuaded the Wise Woman to his cause. Wise Woman Dovrasi, the most respected counselor and spirit guide this side of Red Mountain. She went to the Cavern of the Incarnate to meditate on Chodala's claim. If she confirms my brother's assertion, the tribes will follow wherever he leads. Agreed. But I dare not leave Chodala alone with the tribes. I feel the hand of Azura in all this. Go to the Cavern of the Incarnate and talk to the Wise Woman. I'll stay here and try to keep things under control until you return. The Cavern's to the northeast of Aldrin, on the other side of the mountain. Hopefully, the rumbling and lava won't slow you down too much. Get to the Cavern and talk to the Wise Woman. If she accepts Chodala's claim about the Nerevarine, my brother isn't the first to believe he's Nerevar returned. All of the previous veiled incarnates rest within the cavern. A statue of Azura watches over them as they await the arrival of the true Nerevarine. When Chodala became a Gulakon, a champion of our people, I supported him. When he stepped forward as Ashkan, leader of our tribe, I was at his side. But this new claim, it comes with strange powers and talk of war. I can't support those things. She won't refuse my claim. Just in case, make sure the Red Exiles are ready. Your word is law, Nerevari.
Hilalu, friend? House Hilalu. May all your deals prove profitable. Azura is my shield, you foul creatures. for aiding me, but I sense you came for a different purpose. Let's talk inside the cavern. be another way. No, my lady, of course not. I'll do as you ask. Come here, Outlander. We must talk. 
It feels strange to talk to an outlander in such a sacred place, but the Queen of the Night Sky insists. I need to render judgment on an important claim, and she says you can help me reach the correct decision. Words of truth from the mouth of an outlander. Remarkable. The Red Exiles and a few others believe that Chodala is the Nerevarian. He's convinced them, but not me. I came here to consider my options. I fear a bloodbath if I oppose his claim. Perhaps, but I must remain impartial. If someone else reveals the flaws in Chodala's claims by comparing him to the failed incarnates, that might do the trick. We thought the incarnates were possessed by the spirit of Nerevar, but each had a critical flaw that made them destined to fail to fulfill the prophecy. Their spirits reside here. Yes, you should speak to the incarnates. I see Azura's wisdom now. Take this pouch of blessed grave dust. Sprinkle a pinch upon the bones of the incarnates to call forth their spirits. Return to Aldrin after you have learned all you can. Perhaps we can curb Chodala's ambitions before they lead us to war. We need knowledge to defeat Chodala, Outlander. Listen well to what the failed incarnates have to say. The Nerevarin remains a promise unfulfilled. And I am as guilty of prideful posturing as every other failed incarnate that occupies this hall. Ask your question and let's be done with this outlander. The Nerevarin must listen as well as proclaim. I refuse to accept wise counsel, which led to the doom of my tribe and the end of my quest to embody the spirit of Nerebar. I take my scroll and remind the wise woman that wisdom ignored is ignorance. We are the failed incarnates, the Ashlanders who proudly proclaimed themselves to be the Nerevarian, but were found wanting. The Lady of Dawn and Dusk urged us to cooperate. So ask your question, Outlander. Take my scroll and help the wise woman see the lie of unbridled power. I thought myself the reborn Nerevar, for I was the strongest, most powerful warrior in all the land. But power alone won't save my people. In the end, it couldn't even save me. I was the hope of my people, but then my claim was proven false. Now I wait, and I hope for the Nerevarian's return. State your question, Outlander, and I shall do as Azura urges. To fulfill the prophecy, I followed a path of blood and war. In the end, my path became a road that led nowhere, and I was cast down from my lofty spot. Take my scroll, and help the wise woman understand the futility of a senseless war. Mortal, let us speak. I foresaw your usefulness before you even set foot in Vardenfell. Now comes a test that will challenge your ability to separate truth from lies. You must convince the tribes that Chodala is not the Nerevarian. Dovrissi's wisdom outshines most other mortals. 
She recognizes the futility of Chotala's claim. If she rebuffs him, however, the tribes will turn on each other and blood will flow. The staff, Sunra, it makes Chotala confident, reckless. Your instincts serve you well. Chotala's path took a dark turn. However, my sight clouds when I look too closely. So Thessil built Sunra, but he did not create it with this vile purpose in mind. You must act on my behalf and Vivex. Then go, return to Aldrun and help the wise woman reveal the falsehood of Chodala's claim. And let Saren assist you. She is my champion and a trusted friend of all Ashlanders. Use what the Incarnate shared with you. Their failures point the way toward Chodala's downfall. But beware Chodala's power. He may not be the Nerevarine, but some greater agency has lent strength to his conviction. Due to an ancient pact, I am not permitted to interfere in the affairs of Nern. Even this casual discussion pushes the boundaries of that agreement. Instead, I must work through trusted agents, such as yourself and Saren. Helping that arrogant imposter? Whatever gave you the idea that I was helping that murderer? Vardenfell must stand. Everything I do in this regard serves that single goal. Best that you remember that, mortal. the moon and star. You've returned. The wise woman returned from the cavern of the incarnate and went right into Scar to meet with the tribes. Chodal is in there too, about to be named the Nereverine. Tell me you came back with something to stop my brother's rise to power. Ah, uh, of course. Use the tales of the failed incarnates to counter Chodal's arguments. That's brilliant. Well, Except for one problem. An Outlander has no status in the Council. The Ashlanders won't listen to a word you say. Someone else has to present the arguments. 
Someone they trust. I suppose that means I have to challenge my brother. With your help, of course. You spoke to the Incarnates, not me. I'm familiar with their stories, but I'll need you to help me choose the appropriate argument to counter each of Chodala's claims. I hate opposing my brother in this. I just don't see another way. Incarnate Runso was strong and powerful. He thought that by strength alone, he could unite the Ashlanders. He failed. When Chodala proclaims his power, that's when we'll refer to this scroll's sad tale. Incarnate Adiri was a champion of my people. She defended us against great threats. But when she grew to love war for war's sake, she proved she wasn't the Nereverine. When Chodala proclaims that war is the answer, hand me this scroll. Incarnate Darnot thought his way was the best way. He rejected the counsel of the wise women and the Ashkans, something Nerevar would never do. When Chodala proclaims he knows better than anyone, we'll use this scroll. Meet me inside. Must we continue this farce? It's obvious that I'm the Nera Baron. Someone has stepped forward to challenge your claim, Chodala. Seren, I'm disappointed in you, dear sister. Enough. I shall hear your arguments and render my decision. Even the Outlander can see that I'm the most powerful Ash Khan. My strength alone proves that I am the Nerevarin. Chodala puts forth his great strength as proof of his claim. Give me the scroll that discounts such a trait for the Nerevarin. Yes, that's a sound argument. Incarnate, appear! As a warrior and as an Ashkar, I was the most powerful of my age. But for all my strength, I failed my people. Don't follow my example. The Faithless Houses dare to threaten our land, but we shall meet them in battle, and I will lead us to victory. This is more nerve-wracking than I anticipated. Which scroll do you recommend? That makes sense. I'll try that. Incarnate, appear! I thought the path to the Nerevarian was a path of blood and battle, but my love of war was my undoing. War is not the way. These failed incarnates prove nothing! I need no counsel but my own, as befits my status as the Nerevarian. I think it's worth. Of course. Let's see what happens. Incarnate, appear! I refuse to accept the counsel of the wise women and the Ashkans. I thought I knew best, but I knew nothing. That is not the way of the Nerevari. Seren and the Outlander, their arguments have merit. Chodala, we deny your claim. You are not the Nerevari. This proves nothing! Look how the staff protects me! I am the Nerevari! Red Exiles, slay the Brother, no! Go around!
Go to my hut and get my healer's sack. Now. Right away, wise woman. I hate what my brother's become. Mortal, I would have words with you. Chodala has been revealed as a failed Nerevarian, but that hasn't dissuaded him from his reckless course of action. As long as he wields the staff, he shall be unstoppable. Time is against you, mortal. Even now, Vivek, that pompous usurper, grows increasingly weaker. As much as I deplore him, Vivek cannot fall to Chodala's vile magic. There's another power at work here. One I can't quite put my finger on. Return to Vivek City. Do what you can to aid Vivek. And pay heed to my faithful vessel, Saren. I name her Champion of the Moon and Star. She will play a pivotal role in ending her brother's march toward godhood, if she survives. That was... exhilarating. Ah, a fellow outsider in this inhospitable sea of ash. I wonder if we might help each other. Is it true they summoned Balreth to defeat the Daggerfall army at Darwin's Watch? The priests seem nervous today. Pull yourself together. You're a buoyant armager for Vivek's sake. As a god weakens, so too does his city suffer. I know my people grow fearful. Even the Arch Cannon is distressed. But the energy that remains to me holds the moonlit in the sky. At least for now. So what news does my eyes and ears bring to me? How this upstart Ashlander learned to attune Sotha Seal's tool confounds my understanding. And he dares use my power? Still, your help is appreciated. Every strike and parry takes us one step closer to ending this threat and restoring my vitality. Due to Lord Vivek's condition, it falls upon us to find a solution. Lord Vivek must conserve his remaining energy, so we need to solve this problem on our own. It all comes back to Chodala. That damned Ashland is draining the warrior poet's power. We need to stop him and get that damned staff. How should I know? That's not a skill the Tribunal teaches. Return to Barozal's tower and get Sothisil's former apprentice to come up with some kind of countermeasure. I'm sure he knows more than he's told you. I do have one concern, though. You see right through me, Outlander. I have more worries than a Quama Queen has eggs. I'm talking about Chodala's sister. Saren claims to want to help, to want peace. 
but I don't trust her. Seek out Berlzar, but be wary of the Ashlander's sister. We need to stop the Chopper, and to do that, we need to find a way to overcome the device he's wielding. Find Berlzar and make sure that crazy mage provides you with something we can use to save Lord Vivek. Is the bull sure it can bed the Betty? No. But by all accounts, we'll be better off with Sunara in our hands and away from Chotla. That won't be possible, however, as long as the Ashlander remains impervious to every attack. The female Ashlander? Well, if that wasn't enough of a reason, remember that she's also Chotla's sister. Blood sings to blood as the warrior poet so elegantly put it. Be wary of that one, Outlander. She'll stab you in the back, mark my words. Vivek loves this land, and the land loves him in return. He's always had a special bond with Vardenfell. Is it so hard to believe that Red Mountain reflects his suffering? Beyond that, there's also Bardao, the moonlit that floats above us. Lord Vivek's intervention stopped the moonlit from crashing into the city. He holds it above us by strength of will. But as he weakens, so too does the power that keeps the rock afloat. If Vivek's energy wanes further, it would spell disaster. <laughs>